This video shows how to create a Silverlight reporting application with a pivot table using Report Sharpshoot. Let's create a new Silverlight application. While creating the project, check in the Host the Silverlight application in a new website option. Set the name of the web project to sampleapplication.web and set the Silverlight version to Silverlight 4. After that, VS will create a new solution containing two projects. Silverlight application. It's a Silverlight project which will include the report viewer object for reports display and Silverlight application.web. It's an ASP.NET application which is used to publish the Silverlight application and the WCF service. To simplify URL writing, we should indicate the specific port value. To do this, we should open the properties of the sample application.web project. Let's move to the web tab. Check in the specific port option and set it to 5555. In order to make client interact with server, we need a special service. Add Silverlight enabled WCF service to the sample application.web project. Now we should create the data source structure. To do this, open the service in design time mode. Add a data set to the toolbox. Select the untyped data set. After that, the data set node. Data set 1 appears in the designer. Open the data set properties. Our report will include a table stating pricing for goods by different companies and the goods will be divided into categories. Pricing will be calculated taking into account quantities of goods and discounts. So let's add a table and the fields according to these requirements. Open the tables collection editor. Add a table. Set the property table name and name to sales. Open the columns property editor. Add six columns. Set column name property to company name, category name, product name, unit price, quantity, discount, correspondingly. For the unit price, quantity, discount columns, set the data type property to system.double. And now we should fill the data source. To do this, let's move to the code of our application. Override the onLoadData method of the report service class. Set the values for the fields of the sales table. The pivot table will be billed based on this data. Now add the report manager component. This component is responsible for the report generation. Here we have a set of template collections and data sources. Open the report service properties and set the report manager property to added report manager. This should be done to make the service define what report manager 
should be used for report generation. Open the Report Manager Editor. Before creating a report template, add the data source by which the report will be generated. Go to the Data Source tab. Add Data Source and set the name field to Sales. Select Dataset1.Sales as the value. Go to the Report tab. Add the Inline Report slot and set the report name. Click Run Designer button to open the report designer. Select the new item from the menu to create a template. Since our report will include the pivot value, we can take advantage of the pivot table wizard which is intended to automatically create. The pivot table wizard form is used to set template properties for which define the appearance of report. Set the sales as a template name and the report title will also have the same name. Select C Sharp as script language and this language will be used to write bindings and expressions. Now let's move to the pivot table property. Select the sales table which we previously added to the report manager as the data source. You can edit the pivot table properties here. Press the configure layout button to invoke the source field editor. Here we can set the table cells, layout, and write expression for the values calculation. Drag the company name field to the X dimension sector. In the expression property, we have a script to load the company name field from the data source. Drag and drop the category name and product name fields in the Y dimension. Thus, the products will be sorted by these categories. Now let's edit the captions properties. These values are displayed in the table header. Add a new fact field. Set the caption property to cost. Set the format property equal to 0, 0.00 to round cell values to the nearest hundredth. In the expression property, let's set the expression to calculate the price taking into consideration the cost, quantity, and discount. Settings of the template and pivot table can be saved to a file for further use. To do this, press the Save button. Set the file name and path. We press OK and the template is created according to our settings. The detail band includes text box with report title, the document, title property, measure unit is centimeters. The document.title property is equal to sales, the value which we set in the wizard. The document.style sheet properly defines the styles for the template. Now let's consider the page properties. The page.orientation property sets the portrait page orientation. The paper kind property sets the paper size format. The page header section is added to the template according to the wizard settings. The binding value of the text box elements includes the field which displays the page number. Let's see the pivot table properties. Pivot table dot data source property is equal to sales. Other pivot table properties. The layout property sets the cells layout in the table and calculation. The settings in the source fields editor correspond to the ones we set in the wizard. Other properties also correspond to the properties we set in the wizard. The styles properties allows setting the styles for various table elements. If you use the wizard, the values for the properties will be set automatically. In the style sheet editor, it is possible to set various styles and set the names which are indicated in the styles properties. We did all this before. That's why we now just need to upload a set of styles from the file. As a result, the template 
appearance becomes the following. Save the template and close the designer. In order to add report viewer, you should add a reference to the perpetuumsoft.reporting.silverlight.client assembly containing the report viewer. It is also needed to add system.windows.control.toolkit and system.windows.controls. To add the report viewer component on the page, open its designer. Add RSS XML namespace for the perpetuumsoft.reporting.silverlight.client assembly. To add the viewer, we should write the following code to the grid band. Please pay attention to the report name property. It should correspond to the document name which is set in the report manager. In service URL address, we should indicate the name of the added report service. Open main page source code to edit it. Add event handler to loaded method. Render document invocation leads to the rendering of the current report on the server and its displaying in the report viewer. Make sure that Silverlight application.web is set as a startup project. Press the Run Application button in order to compile the Silverlight application. The web page includes Report Viewer, which displays the report we've just created. The final report includes data from the dataset.sales table. A report uses various styles to make a pivot table more visibly appealing and easy to understand.